क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ लास्ट न्यूमेरिकल व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन मिनिमम फेज मैक्सिमम फेज एंड मिक्स फेज सिस्टम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मच मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज यू शुड नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मिनिमम फेज मैक्सिमम फेज एंड मिन फेज सिस्टम if you know the definition then you can easily get the answer whether the function is related to mean phase max series or mix phase system check whether the following system is mean phase max phase or mix phase system and the function is given h of z is equals 1 minus 5 by 2 z inverse minus 3 by 2 z to the power minus 2 now we will see how to obtain the result and then we'll conclude whether the h of z is related to mean max or mix phase system my h of z the system equation is given 1 minus 5 by 2 z inverse minus 3 by 2 z to the power minus 2 now as i said we can solve this question as it is or else just convert it into positive power of z so we'll multiply numerator and denominator by highest power of z but which one is the highest for how to find out the highest power of z look at here the lowest power of z in this function is minus 2 so i'll multiply whole equation and denominator that is numerator and denominator by the z to the power 2 this 2 is calculated from minus 2 now how to find out the highest power of z look at here the lowest power of z in this equation is minus 2 so if i multiply numerator and denominator by plus 2 then automatically this lowest power will get removed so we'll multiply numerator and denominator by z to the power 2 so this is our equation z square into 1 is z square z square into z to the power minus 1 basis are same powers always get added to so 2 minus 1 is 1 and at the end as i said if the basis are same then powers always get added to so 2 minus 2 becomes 0 so we have z to the power 0 and anything is to 0 is always 1 that's why we have got 3 by 2 only now now we will find out the factors of numerator why it is important reason is you will get the idea of whether the obtained pole or zero basically in numerator we have we always have a zero so from this factorization you will get the location of zero and this location will gives us idea about a system whether the system is mean phase max phase or mixed phase system so first of all we'll find out the factors and then we'll find out the locations of zeros Z plus half and Z in minus three. Now, I'll equate both these zeros with respect to zero. Reason is, you will get the value of radius of circle, or you can say the location of zeros. if i equate both these value with respect to zero then in first bracket you will get minus half but in z transform we never write a minus reason because whatever output you will get that output is nothing but that radius of circle so here we have a minus half value which means we have a circle having a radius of half so to absorb this minus sign we will always place a more so first circle is having a radius half the second circle is having a radius 3 after equating this with a zero z minus 3 equal to 0 you will get z equals to 3 now what you can say here the first zero is lying inside the unit circle whereas second zero is lying outside the unit circle which means from this i can say that by according to definition this h of z is a mixed phase system so this is the way to identify whether my function or the system is mixed phase max phase or mean phase system so what to do 
first of all try to convert the function into normal z that is positive power of z and then calculate the factors of numerator so that you will get the values of z or zeros and then just compare the values of zeros whether the values are lying inside the unit circle or this is all about this question now how to identify whether the function is mean phase max phase or mixed phase system now if the function or if in question z is given in negative orders then try to convert it into positive orders then next part is find out the factors of numerator so that you will get the value of zeros now from that value of zeros you can say that the given value of zero is lying inside the unit circle or outside the unit circle or some of them are lying inside or outside and from this just compare this statement with our definition or just compare the values obtained values with our definition and then you will get the idea whether the function is min max or mixed phase system so that's all for now we will study a next topic in next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekda and subscribe to ekda for further more videos thank you so much